NASA's Voyager 1 launched in 1971, now the most distant object ever crafted by human hands. She's a celestial traveler, having logged an astounding billion and a half miles since her last terrestrial encounter. Her journey continues, not just within the confines of our Milky Way, but towards destinations far beyond our galaxy. Parallel to Voyager 1's physical journey is the metaphysical journey of human intelligence. How did we, as a species, become intelligent? What sparked our audacious ambition to ascend the cosmic ladder and reach for the stars? How did we transform into a conduit for the universe to understand itself? We used to hunt and forage. The boundary was visible everywhere. We were surrounded only by the land, the ocean, and the sky. Walking back to the waters of the cosmic ocean, the vastness of space and time remains mostly unknown. We'll take a ride on the hidden global network that no one knew existed. We're going to travel into the future we can still have, to the homes of our distant descendants in the stars. Science can take us over that hugeness, but without imagination, we get nothing. Astronomy, the oldest exact physical science, has played a key role in helping us understand not just the universe's nature, but also fundamental physical processes. In simple terms, I want to emphasize how astronomy contributes to our understanding of the physical world. While astronomy has ancient roots, astrophysics is more recent, starting around 1895. This was a time when we applied astronomical spectroscopy to understand celestial phenomena. This growth in astrophysics aligned with the significant increase in scientific knowledge during the second half of the 19th century. So our story begins with Isaac Newton, a physicist and mathematician who revolutionized our understanding of the universe with his laws of motion and universal gravitation, forever changing the course of scientific inquiry. He also made significant contributions to optics, the study of light and vision. He devised a new type of telescope that used curved mirrors instead of glass lenses to collect and focus light, avoiding the problem of chromatic aberration that plagued the refracting telescopes of his time. With his reflecting telescope, he was able to observe the planets and the stars with unprecedented clarity and detail. He also discovered that white light is composed of different colors that can be separated by a prism, and that each color has a different degree of refrangibility, or bending when passing through a medium. He explained these phenomena using his corpuscular theory of light, which assumed that light consists of tiny particles that travel in straight lines. However, Newton's theory of light could not account for some of the phenomena that were observed by later scientists, such as interference, diffraction, and polarization. These phenomena suggested that light behaves like a wave rather than a particle. One of the scientists who challenged Newton's theory was Joseph von Fraunhofer, a German optician and physicist who specialized in making high-quality optical glass and lenses. He also invented the spectroscope, a device that uses a prism or a diffraction grating to split light into its constituent colors, or spectrum. While studying the spectrum of sunlight, he noticed that some colors were missing, creating dark lines across the spectrum. He also compared the spectra of different stars and found that they had different patterns of dark lines. Joseph died young at the age of 39 and left a mystery, the origin of the dark lines in the solar spectrum which he named after himself. He thought they had something to do with the sun's elements. His mystery was solved by two other scientists who founded spectroscopy, the science of light and matter. Isaac Newton and Joseph von Fraunhofer changed how we see the sky and the world. Newton explained how things move and fall and invented a new math. He also inspired many thinkers and creators, from Voltaire to Blake. Fraunhofer made better lenses and spectroscopes which helped us explore the universe, from planets to galaxies, and understand what they are made of. Spectroscopy is the key to unlocking the secrets of light and matter. Two pioneers, Huggins and Secchi, used this technique to explore the nebulae, the mysterious fuzzy lights in the sky. They discovered that some nebulae were glowing gas clouds and some were reflecting dust clouds. These were the cradles and graves of stars. But the biggest surprise was that some nebulae were actually galaxies, 
home to billions and billions of stars. As we continue our journey through the history of universe trying to explore itself, we meet Henrietta Leavitt, a remarkable woman who made a lasting impact on astronomy. She worked at the Harvard College Observatory, where she was part of a team who analyzed the photographic plates of the stars. She noticed a special type of star called a Cepheid, which pulsates with a regular period, like a cosmic heartbeat, and noticed that the longer the period, the brighter the star. What does this mean? It means that by measuring the period and the brightness of a Cepheid, we can calculate how far it is from us. Levitt realized that this relation could be used to measure the distances to other galaxies, using Cepheids as cosmic lighthouses. She compiled a catalog of Cepheids and their periods and laid the foundation for the next great discovery. Enter Edwin Hubble, a young and ambitious astronomer who dreamed of exploring the nebulae. He had access to the most powerful telescope of his time, the 100-inch Hooker Telescope at Mount Wilson Observatory. He used Levitt's method to measure the distances to the nebulae that were actually galaxies. He also measured their velocities using the Doppler effect which shifts the spectra of light depending on the motion of the source. He made a shocking discovery. The galaxies are moving away from us and that the farther a galaxy is, the faster it moves away from us. This is Hubble's law and it implies that the universe is expanding and that it had a beginning, a moment of creation, which we call the Big Bang. Hubble's revelation about an expanding universe paved the way for further astronomical inquiries and discoveries. It set the stage for the next generation of astronomers who would delve deeper into the intricacies of stars' life cycles. We encounter two brilliant minds who made groundbreaking discoveries about the life and death of stars. Subramanian, Chandrasekhar, and Arthur Eddington were both astrophysicists who studied the structure and evolution of stars and predicted the existence of exotic objects such as white dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. They also showed that stars produce energy by nuclear fusion, which converts hydrogen into helium and other heavier elements. These elements are then dispersed into space by supernova explosions which enrich the interstellar medium and form the building blocks of new stars and planets. Chandrasekhar, a young genius from India, had a bold theory. A star's fate depends on its mass. He showed that stars above a certain mass, now known as Chandrasekhar's limit, would implode into black holes, defying gravity. Eddington, a respected British leader, humiliated him in public, making him feel disheartened. But Chandrasekhar had the last laugh. His theory was proven right, and he won the Nobel Prize. As we move into the late 20th century, we meet Vera Rubin and Fritz Zwicky, they were both astronomers who discovered that most of the matter in the universe is invisible and does not interact with light or ordinary matter. We begin with the mystery of dark matter, the hidden mass that makes up most of the matter in the universe. We can't see it, touch it, or interact with it, but we can detect its presence by its gravitational effects on the visible matter. Dark matter holds the galaxies and clusters of galaxies together and influences the formation and structure of the universe. But how do we know it exists? One of the clue comes from the rotation of galaxies. By measuring the speed of stars and gas in galaxies, we can estimate the amount of mass that holds them together by gravity. However, we find that the visible matter in galaxies is not enough to account for their rotation. There must be some invisible mass that provides the extra gravity. This is dark matter and it makes up about 27% of the total mass energy of the universe. Another clue comes from the bending of light by gravity. When light from a distant source passes near a massive object, such as a galaxy or a cluster of galaxies, it is bent by the gravity of the object. This effect is called gravitational lensing, and it can magnify, distort, or split the image of the source. By studying the lensing effect, we can measure the mass of the lensing object, even if it is invisible. This way, we can detect the presence of dark matter in galaxies and clusters of galaxies. But dark matter is not the only invisible component of the universe. There is also dark energy, the mysterious force that causes the expansion of the universe to accelerate. Dark energy makes up about 68% of the total mass energy of the universe and it is the dominant component of the universe today. 
But is there any evidence that proves the existence of it? The most compelling indication comes from the exploding stars, the supernova. Supernovas are the explosive deaths of massive stars, and they can be used as standard candles or objects with known intrinsic brightness to measure the distances to other galaxies. By comparing the apparent and intrinsic brightness of supernova, we can determine how fast the universe is expanding. In 1998, two teams of astronomers made a surprising discovery that the universe is not only expanding but accelerating. This means that there is some repulsive force that counteracts the gravity of matter and drives the expansion faster and faster. This force is attributed to dark energy, which is the main driver of the universe's evolution. We have many clues that dark matter and dark energy exist, such as the shape, number, and movement of galaxies. But we still don't know what they are or how they work, which puzzles cosmologists and physicists. However, within this mystery is an opportunity to explore the depths of the universe and even etch your name alongside the great brains of astrophysics. Imagine being recognized as one of the greatest minds in the world, receiving the highest honor in science and making history with your discoveries. This could be you, if you join us in the exciting field of astrophysics, where the universe is waiting to be unveiled. The 21st century is a time of cosmic discovery, where the universe reveals itself in ways never seen before. Using cutting-edge technology and instruments, we observe the universe across the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to gamma rays. We also detect other forms of radiation, such as neutrinos, cosmic rays, and gravitational waves, which reveal new aspects of the universe. We also discover thousands of planets orbiting other stars, some of which may be habitable or even inhabited by life. One of the most revolutionary breakthroughs in the history of science is the detection of gravitational waves. These are ripples in the fabric of space and time, caused by the most violent events in the cosmos, such as the merger of black holes and neutron stars. For the first time, we can listen to the symphony of the universe and hear the secrets it has to tell us. This discovery has opened a new window to the cosmos and has already earned a Nobel Prize for its pioneers. Another exciting frontier is the exploration of exoplanets, the planets that orbit other stars. These are the worlds that could harbor life beyond our own, and we are on a quest to find them. With the help of powerful telescopes and innovative techniques, we have discovered thousands of exoplanets, some of them in the habitable zone, where liquid water and life could exist. Could there be another Earth out there, waiting for us to find it? This is the ultimate question of astrobiology, and the answer could earn you a Nobel Prize. The universe is a place of contrasts, light and dark, life and death, order and chaos. Two enigmatic forces rule the cosmos, dark matter and dark energy. They determine the fate and shape of everything and defy our grasp of the laws of nature. Can we ever unravel this cosmic mystery? This is the ultimate quest of modern cosmology and physics and the prize is nothing less than a Nobel. We also face the most bizarre objects in the universe, black holes. These are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. They are the final cosmic riddle, unseen yet mighty, devouring yet creating, simple yet intricate. We have glimpsed the first shadow of a black hole and we are probing their secrets every day. We are living in a golden age of astrophysics where our boundaries are constantly shifting and our knowledge is reaching the edge. Our curiosity and passion drive us and the beauty and wonder of the universe inspire us. We are revealing the cosmos and we invite you to join us on this journey of discovery. And who knows, maybe you will be the next Nobel winner in astrophysics.